And before we start, yes, Charlie, I'm you. I'm wearing your top. I'm really sorry. I couldn't find <laughs> any of my own tops. Hello guys and welcome to the video where today I will be talking about my acne story and my skin. Disclaimer. Okay, so last weekend I went to Leeds Festival where um, you can't really wash your face there. I tried to use like micellar water for cleansing and then a toner and then a moisturiser so it seemed to kind of work. However, even though this is about how I cleared my skin, as you can see I've got this guy here as a new friend and this one here and then a few others which have gone now which have turned to there's that scabby stage so that's great um, my, my voice is really croaky when I came home from Leeds Festival um, I got really sick and I got a viral infection virus infection sorry viral? I don't know an infection in my throat where I had to have antibiotics I'll probably sound a bit croaky anyway so this is my acne story I had really clear skin literally amazing skin growing up, like clear, perfect, I was like just golden colours, you know. Went into secondary school, um, and beginning of secondary school I had really good skin, and then puberty hit in, and I just broke out, completely broke out, and it wasn't anywhere, my cheeks were perfect, my chin was okay, I just, my nose was even okay, I just got it all along my forehead, I just had, I had very oily skin, I just had bright, bright red, big spots on the, there wasn't like a clear space in my forehead. Now all I remember was being so self-conscious. I remember people who I still talk to today, who at the time came up to me and was like, do you wash your face? And it's like, yes, of course I do. I wash my face. Like, so don't do that. That's just like really rude. It's like going up to someone who's probably be, a girl who's being moody and going, are you on your period? Like, no, you just don't do it. You just, no, that's just really rude. You know, I couldn't help it. Like, I didn't, I couldn't control it. At the time, you just, I just, just raging, raging, raging spots. And I was doing everything I possibly could at the time, or what I thought I was doing at the time was good. I used to use simple face wash because it was cheap and it was a cleanser and it kind of just did the job, I thought at the time. It didn't really clear my skin. I ran out one day and my mum was a big fan of the simple soap bars that you get for washing hands. Didn't have any cleanser for my skin, so I just used a the soap bar, the simple soap bar, and within three days, my skin had completely calmed down. And then within, I just carried on using that because it was working, and within a month, my acne had gone down to those little um, colourless bumps again and they were all over my skin. It was, I was that confident in my skin that I didn't wear makeup at all and I think what it was, it was the soap had dried my skin out to the point where there was just no more spots, there was no more angry spots and it dried my skin out. And then, I think it was two years ago now, I was at New Year's Eve and my skin wasn't terrible, it wasn't good. It was just in that in-between stage, I had very oily skin, I was so self-conscious about the oil and it just, my skin wasn't getting any better, it wasn't getting any worse, it was just, it was just from New Year's Eve, my friends had come around and I slept until 5 o'clock in the morning and I slept in my makeup. Worst decision of my life, never do that, don't sleep in your makeup, worst thing I could have ever done, my skin completely freaked out and my skin, how I said it, all my acne was here, it moved down, which is why I used to get acne all here and all here. It completely freaked out. It was the worst it had ever been. And I used to cry, I used to pick at it, I used to pop them, and the scars were so bad, and I have a picture of the scars. And um, even when the, that breakout had calmed down, I was then dealing with the aftermath of, when you pop a, when you pop a spot, you get more spots. So I'd pop up a spot from that breakout and I'd get a few more spots from that. So it was, just, it was just an endless circle and I got really purple, purple hyperpigmentation. And it, my skin, I was in so much pain and I had no idea what to do. I was on the edge for my skin. Like I just, makeup wasn't even covering it anymore. I was just completely sick of looking in the mirror, having cleaned my face and feeling dirty. Okay, I'm not sure if anyone else has this, but when you are talking to someone and you can see that then, sorry, I don't mean to swear, you're not looking at your eyes, that then the eyes are wandering and looking at your skin, and it's the most heartbreaking feeling in the world to the point where you feel like people can't look past your acne. And one day, my mum she went to Clarins and found cleansing milk, a combination to oily skin, 
and then the toner with iris and alcohol free that goes with it and yes these guys saved my life oh my gosh like if i didn't have these i think i'd cry with the cleansing milk you can do two things which is you can you can use it to remove your makeup i remove my makeup in a different manner because i do usually wear quite a bit of makeup what i do is i use this a normal cleanser um, and i wash my face i wet my face with warm water massage this on and remove it with warm water and then splash cold water on my face to, cold, to close the pores. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I'm not crying, I just coughed, I just coughed. And I use this, put it all over my face to make sure that you've moved all the dirt and all the makeup. And within a few days, my skin was beginning to clear. They were going away, they weren't coming back, all that left was the scars. The help of that, that but rewind I have polycystic ovaries this means an excess of the male hormone which means oilier skin more hair also means acne so due to that finding the finding that to be the cause of my acne we, I went on the pill um, and that was to balance out the hormones that just seemed to help get rid of the hormonal cystic acne with the help of the clarins the pill slowly my skin started to improve so I start my skin routine by um, taking the Garnier micellar water for sensitive skin and it removes makeup cleanses and soothes and there's no rinsing, no rinsing and it's hypoallergenic so take a cotton pad and take my makeup using removing that and I'll probably use like one cotton pad for my eyes and I'll use one for my forehead nose and chin and then another one for the cheeks um, and I remove that and it removes the makeup really, really well. So this means that when I go on to using my cleanser the way I told you before, um, there's like, there's, it's, this is removing dirt and really cleaning my face other than just removing makeup. And then going on to the, the toner, like I said, and it removes anything I've missed out, anything that the cleanser and the micellar water didn't get. And then this. Clinique, even better skin tone correcting moisturiser with an SPF of 20. And it, I could just see the effects of it. it was brightening my skin and reducing the redness of my skin as well. For the other night, I will use Epiduo Gel, Benzoyl Peroxide. And these, Benzoyl Peroxide is obviously, if you have acne, you will know, this is good for spots. Like the pill and stuff like that gets rid of the internal reason why I've got spots. And this gets rid of the external reason. It helps to reduce, so this is amazing. However, it does make my skin very sensitive, which is why I said I only, only use this every other night. And I, use, I put it on before bed, before moisturizer, because if you put it on over your moisturizer, it won't work. But yes, yeah, so if you can get this over the counter, I think, but I did get this from my doctor. So I have tips now so my tip number one is water my skin benefits wonders and i'm not i'm not really good at this like i i go through periods of like drinking as like two liters a day and i go through periods of drinking hardly any water a day but i find if you drink water your skin really does you i really do see the benefits of an even skin tone fewer spots and fewer breakouts okay another tip don't pop don't pop your spots it's the worst thing you can do why would you pop your spots I mean, I am still paying for the fact that I pop my spots a lot all over my face. I still have to deal with scars. This is your skin, right? And this is your spot. Great diagram. Because when you're squeezing it, like a portion, the top portion will come out, obviously. That's the bit you see. But then, bottom portion, this bottom portion goes into the skin further. Meaning that when you pop your spot, you are not only just causing scabs, bleeding, pain, redness and scars, you're creating more spots. It's not a good cycle, just don't do it. There's no point. An alternative to popping spots is this little product here. Wait, whoa, there it is. Okay, and this is the Mario Badescu Skincare Drying Lotion. When you have a really bad spot that's got like a really big yellow head and you just really wanna pop it, get a Cupid, a Cupid? Cupid, get a Cupid. Get, grab him, just grab Cupid. Um, get a cute tip. Oh my gosh. Dip it into the lotion, making sure not to shake the lotion, and dab it on your spot. I don't know if you've ever used toothpaste or anything, you put it on and it kind of dries. It kind of looks like that. When you wake up the next morning, the spot is 
significantly reduced, less red, no more pus and it's on its way out. The way to start to get good skin is being healthy for men, being internally healthy. And for a while I tried this and I couldn't do it because I'm a fast food junkie kind of gal. But eating healthy is good. Eating better, drinking water, drinking smooth, just, you know, being healthy from within is a good place to start for your acne because whatever you put in your body tends to probably come out on your skin. And my final tip is to be patient. This is a great look. 